welcome to the project demonstration of automatic power uh, grid failure indication by measuring the voltage and frequency so in this project we are going to changing the voltage with the help of this potentiometer so in generally we are getting to 30 volts input it won't change in heavy uh, difference so that's why we are uh, providing 30 volts input to this circuit uh, through these cables and that was given as input to the regulated power supply board and from this board we will get 5 volts constant regular power supply and also we are going to provide the frequency input to this pic microcontroller through this blue cable so from here we are going to measure the frequency and from here we are going to measure the voltage so as we are providing 5 volts input here and the same voltage given to this potentiometer this variable register and also we are going to changing the low and high whenever it is below 180 volts then we will get the audible alerts uh, sorry, we are in the visual alerts on this LCD as well as the bulb will be isolated through this electromagnetic relay. And also same thing if the frequency is below 49 uh, heads. So just by disconnecting this cable it will get the zero frequency then automatically the bulb will be isolated through this electromagnetic relay. So here the main inputs are frequency and voltage from the potentiometer. And this was given as input to the A0 pin of our PIC 16F72 microcontroller and A4 pin for the frequency. And relay was connected at C3 pin and LCD at B2 to B7. So they are the connections. So coming to the individual boards. So this one is the main motherboard PIC microcontroller. So we are providing 5 volts inputs at here. And uh, this one is the reset switch and this one is the capacitor. Just to eliminate the ripples like voltage fluctuations uh, will be removed by this capacitor and to restart the microcontroller just reset switch and also there is a one more steel plate one this one is a crystal oscillator to provide the clock pulse to the microcontroller so the clock frequency is 20 megahertz so means we are going to provide the 20 mega pulses per second so this is very important to execute the instructions inside the microcontroller each instruction will take one pulse so parallelly Totally 20 mega instructions per second can be executed as we are providing the 20 mega uh, heads of clock frequency per second. So that's the fastness of our microcontroller. And this red light, uh, red light is a program LED indication. So whenever the abnormal is detected, the red light will on as well as visual indicator on the LCD. What is the abnormality and also bulb will be isolated through uh, from the from the power supply. And uh, this green light is a power LED indication. So let us see the demonstration. So once we switch on the gate, then there will be a welcome message on the LCD screen, right? Okay. And now the voltage is set for 250. So we can observe that just by rotating that the voltage will be changes. And when it is about 245, then high voltage message will be displayed on the LCD, and bulb will be isolated. At the same time, for the low voltage, right? Low voltage is 180 below, high voltage is 245 above. And coming to the frequency, just by disconnecting that, we can see the low frequency that is zero because there is no pulse uh, received from this regular power supply board to the microcontroller. And when we re uh, de uh, reconnect that, it's again normal frequency is 50 Hz and voltage also normal condition.